All right, folks. Um, working on a 923A1. Um, we're going to install a treadle valve on the uh, truck um, for being able to control the treadle brakes. When you want to, um, this is a, an old junk one I had. Um, treadle valve still works, so. So, back side of this, you're going to have three ports. You're going to have a delivery port, supply port, and this will be exhaust port. Um, just standard 3 8 fittings, um, DOT fittings. I'm actually going to swap these two out um, with some push locks. Um, the delivery side actually will be quarter inch. Um, DOT line is to save some money since it's cheaper, about a dollar cheaper than the 3 8 line. Um, same airflow goes through it in order to control the brakes. So um, I would advise going to push lock, make it a lot easier. Um, so let's pull both these. Um, if you got some extra airline laying around, put your exhaust wherever you want to put it. Um, so we'll swap that out. Um, as far as parts, um, pretty simple. You need a KN23000 um, Haldex one way check valve. Same valve that's on both of your primary and secondary tanks and on your treadle valve tank on the uh, behind the driver's step. Um, standard T. Uh, I'm actually going to remove this one. Um, this actually will come off of here as well. Um, what we'll actually do is that we'll uh, take this off. This one-way check valve will go on this. That way, air won't be able, air will be allowed to come out of this valve down the down the fuel in the frame rail, and won't let it go back. Um, and then this actually will screw this in. So, and this actually replaced this. So you'll be looking at something like similar to this to go on your frame rail. Um, of course, you'll have this will be your service line coming down your frame rail that'll come off your ABS system and go to the rear glad hand, the rear service glad hand. Um, this will be a through and through. So, you got one way check valve, which only allows air to come through, not go back. This will keep going to your service port. This will be your inlet line from. The uh, delivery line from the uh, trolley valve. So you'll have that line come out of frame rail away from the front and you'll be able to hook it in like that. As far as installing it, all right, and your rear axle here, you'll have a line right here. You'll see it goes up and it actually uh, hooks into a little valve fitting right there um, before it goes across to your uh, ABS valves and whatnot. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use this existing clamp right here. I'm actually going to remove that bolt, remove these lines, and uh, that T-fitting I have actually is coming off one of these trucks. I'm actually going to put it so the bolt there, cut this line down, quick connect it, cut it down, quick connect it, and then run my, your uh, quarter inch line off. So basically, in a sense, it'll look similar to this, or you can set it up a little bit. I'm actually going to probably uh, clamp it down. I've actually got some more fittings I can use. Um, but basically, the way it'll sit, it's like that. And then up here in your cab, when you install your trolley valve, you know, it's going to go in your steering shaft there. Um, this actually is a tr tractor cab anyway, so I have a lot more air bulkhead fittings. Than most people so I'm actually gonna use that blue line sitting there for my exhaust um, on the back side of the cab or the, actually the back bulkhead behind your uh, um, instrument cluster there your dash, uh, dash cluster there's a fitting that's on the bulkhead where your air comes through from um, your pressure protection side to run your wipers and everything else you'll have like a five-way fitting there um, for all the air dispersed to your wipers, to your horn, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, that's to your horn, but uh, just the wipers and the, uh, your gauges. Um, I think your gauges, actually. It'll be actually uh, for your wipers and I think anything on the PPV side um, that could be up in the, up in the dash. Uh, there's a couple of different lines going every which way. So, what you can do is... Um, you can either tap into that bulkhead fitting, it'll have two extra spaces. You can put some more fittings in it, 
kind of a pain in the butt because it's kind of a tight space unless you loosen the bulkhead fitting. Um, what you can do is, is one of the wiper lines coming off or any other line you want to use um, that's on the pressure protection side, so it'll be yellow. Um, you can put a little T-fitting into that and that will allow you to, you know, if your pressure drops below a certain feet, uh, rating, you know, it'll, it'll cut it off anyway, you'll be able to access it. So, be easier to tee off one of them side, so you don't have to add a tractor protection valve like the semis, like the 931s and 818 series trucks have on them, or 809 series trucks have on them. So it'd be a lot easier to do it that way. Um, just to just tee into it, run that as your, as your supply to your shuttle valve, and then you'll run um, the other one, the delivery port to um, that fitting on the back uh, frame rail. And then um, you're running this in exhaust. You can just hook on the exhaust line and dump it wherever you want to, or even dump right in the cab. It doesn't matter to me, but you may get some moisture from the cab if you do that. If you haven't been taking care of your air tanks. So it's pretty simple. Um, about a $200 mod. I mean, if you add up all the fittings and everything else, um, airline's about 35 bucks or 30 bucks for the 30, 35 foot a quarter inch. You don't need any big airline for it. Um, I think trolley valves are pretty cheap too, as well as you buy, you know, a standard civilian one. Um, so, but uh, the KN valve, standard, you should always have one anyway for your truck, in case you ever have a check valve go bad. Um, you know, of course, I use the DOT push lock fittings because they're just easier to work with and whatnot. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'll do, I'll line this video up here a minute when I get it all installed, and it takes about an hour and a half to do everything. The hardest part is just running the lines. So, um, that's it, and we'll finish up in a minute. All right, your finish valve will look like this. Um, KN35, 23,000 uh, valve, 3 8 inlet, um, down your frame rail. Exit on the 3 8 on this end. Quarter inch will be your supply line. So, basically you have to set up so when you air comes in from your trolley valve, to go to your trailer, it doesn't back feed into your system. This actually will keep it from going up to your ABS uh, valve and engaging the uh, the brakes in your truck when you use the trolley valve. So, we'll throw it on real quick. This is the final touch. All right, here we go. It's installed. That frame rail there. Line going to your clad hand. Here's the entry. So, all right, as far as in the truck, you'll have your exhaust line. That wherever, wherever you want to. Here's your quarter inch line going back to your um, valve on the rear of the truck, and then this line here is just teed into um, to the actual wiper supply line, so that is on the pressure protection side. Um, so you can, you know, the air pressure is low, we want you to engage it. So we'll go ahead and throw the valve on. I mean, it's engaged. Open this valve up, say your trailer's already hooked to it. Engage your trailer brakes. That's simple, about an hour and a half. Um, just hardest part is running the lines.